Good morning. I'm here to tell you all about GR8 knots. My name's Phil the Rope, and I am a member of the International Guild of Knot Tires, which is an educational charity devoted to keeping old knotting traditions alive. In fact, I was a trustee of this charity for a couple of years. What is it I do? Well, I've been tying decorative knots for over 20 years and produce items to brighten up the home, garden, boat or even yacht. Here are some examples. Here's a clock that's decorated with a square senate grommet and a doorstop. This actually has a cannonball inside it. A couple of bell ropes. These don't have to be used as bell ropes. They could be light poles, perhaps. I haven't written any books, but I've got a lot of experience in filming and video editing, so I've been involved in the production of these two DVDs. Having had no real work for a couple of years, I was asked by a customer at the end of last year to provide him with some decorative rope work for a couple of outlets. So I thought, why not earn some money doing something I love? For reasons I won't go into, this work temporarily dried up, so I thought I should start to promote my own work and shouldn't keep all my eggs in one basket. Effectively then, GR8 Knots is a startup business. What's next then? Well, I do intend to carry on tying and selling decorative knots, but I need to broaden my horizons. Now, during my working life, I've been involved in a lot of training. I've been a school teacher, a scuba diving instructor, and an advanced motorcycle instructor. I love teaching people, so this got me thinking I really ought to look at giving talks and holding workshops. Who's going to be interested in talks and workshops on decorative knots? Well, if you look at the prospectuses of local colleges, you'll find all sorts of unusual things that people learn about. So why not knots? And of course there are social groups such as the Women's Institute, Scout groups, all sorts of social groups. But somebody actually suggested to me recently that I should look at corporate events. There are a lot of poor souls who get sent on team building days and weekends and very often these kind of events involve entertainment and education from all sorts of people. Magicians, painters, even gambling. So yet again I thought, something different. Teach them some decorative knots. Talks can be quite entertaining because there are so many anecdotes about ropes and knot tying, especially nautical anecdotes. And as for workshops, oh, these can run from a couple of hours to a couple of days. In a couple of hours I could teach people how to make a monkey's fist key ring, like these shown here. Longer courses on decorative knot tying might include, for example, Turks heads or different coverings. This one, for example, is some French hitching and both of these, Turks heads and French hitching, really easy to tie once you know how. How about learning to tie a cat of nine tails?
always good entertainment value, this one. In my younger days, I used to play for Ealing Rugby Club. And sometimes, if I wasn't playing, I'd go and watch. If it was raining, I'd take my umbrella. And lots of people at the club had club umbrellas. And they were all identical. But I could always identify mine, because mine had a Turk's head tied round the handle. And we've all been there, haven't we, on holiday? standing by the carousel waiting for our luggage at the airport thinking is it coming is it coming is somebody going to take it by accident people try all sorts of things to identify their cases some people buy bright yellow cases others striped cases and Del Boy Trotter even had a leopard skin suitcase well, I can't stop people stealing my suitcase, but I tell you this, they never got to take any of my cases by accident, because I always have a decorative knot tied around the handle. So, that's GR8 knots. Forget me not. Any questions, comments or suggestions, gratefully received. Thanks for listening.